Okay, so the radio observable observable telescope there. RET or whatever it is, but look, I want you to look at this. Obviously, this is where the black hole is coming from, where a lot of black holes, a lot of small black holes in terms of explosions that have lensing features to the gravitational wave, X-ray. I think I think he gives you a clip here in the beginning of the X-ray field or the radio, well, from radio to X-ray, right? They, this is the bandwidth. You'd say X-ray is... Redshift is still the fastest, but radio waves are on the slowest index. UV is on the fastest. So if you did this, there would be an explosion of explosions with different types, which lends these to which ones you're looking at, given the field of like the EM, uh, excuse me, the ultraviolet, the magnetic field inside there. Obviously, the light would lend some of that in an IH kind of way that deals with this now we're talking on time scales I'm not just using this for the 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 little glint that you see off the market of some players index instead of just the position on it these are talking time scales where this ribbon right here is hundreds of thousands of light years long and potentially a half a light year uh, wide you know in terms of the time travel you have to go this distance from our position to the Milky Way to deal with what would the overall picture be to deal with time to lensing to get through this given that this thing if you were lined up on the pipes with that might be something that is shifted inside of here to the overall explosion or maybe the magnitude of something like a coronal ejection taking nearly three years to produce and in this case this is a radio image or basically image produced in radio frequencies with the overall frequency being 1.28 gigahertz, which essentially helped the scientists uncover quite a lot of different phenomena, including some still 